It's Cora. Welcome or welcome back to OIGPC Cycle 3, Episode 3. This week's theme was Modern Day Week. There was a little bit of confusion with this theme, but I think we got it all sorted out. It was definitely, I think it definitely took a, a bit more of thinking, but I guess it's good to have a nice balance of ones that are a bit simpler and the themes that are, you know, a little bit harder to come up with ideas. But this week, AG Apple Slices, JoJoB10, AG Adventure Studios, and Briley AG Studios did not submit their photo, but so they really just don't get any points or lose any. Again, there is no eliminations in this contest. But anyways, this week we have a very amazing AG Tuber guest judging with us and his creations with AG. I'm so excited and I can't wait to show you the photos. Sorry, I got that wrong. AG Apple Slices shows you Ten and Briley AG Studios didn't submit their photo, but AG Adventure Studios did. The first photo this week comes from Amy. You did a really great job in this photo. I really like your doll's outfit. My critiques are, though, that the photo is kind of drainy, but if that is just your phone, like, seriously, tell me and I won't critique it. Anyways, if you don't tell me, I will probably just reach out to you anyways and ask because it might be that and I don't want to critique you if you really can't do anything about it. So please let me know. And her hair is also kind of messy, but I think I already talked to you about styling your hair in different styles because it'll make the photo look a, ni a lot better because hair is definitely a big thing in your photos. Hair is, you just want to make their hair look nice because there are a lot of flyaways and stuff. I also wish that her blankets on her bed matched a little bit more just because it can be a little distracting, but I really like how she has her phone and laptop, but I wish her laptop were a little more forward. I'm sorry, I'm not trying to critique you in like so many different ways, but it's just a word of advice, but I think her bed is super cute and great job this week. The next photo comes from Potograph AG, and this photo is so simple and so aesthetic. I love it so much. I really like her outfit. It really goes with like the theme. It's kind of white is she pinkish theme. I can tell by the looks of it. It looks like she's almost on like a call or FaceTime with someone because she has like her hand raised in the air. Her phone is so detailed. I love how you can see it's like an Apple phone. It's so fun. I really like. I also really like the edited lights around her. It's not like, I know they're edited, but it's not like the super distracting editing. So great job on that. I really like how she's sitting on all the pillows. It really goes along with the um, idea of this photo and it makes it a lot more aesthetic. Her hair is super nice looking. And yeah, I don't think I have any critiques. You did a really great job this week. The next photo comes from Take Action 321. And this photo is a very creative. You saw that she's like tangled in the internet, and I can definitely see that with all your remotes and electronics. And then I, I love how she has like the cord wrapped around her, it's super detailed. And I don't think I would have ever really thought of this unless you gave me like two years ahead of time or something. Not really, but I really like her outfit. I love how she's laying on the bed. I really like the lamp, it's so cute. But again, I really like her outfit with the denim pants because I just denim pants go well with like anything or just denim in general and then the shirt i like how she has like her hands and her hair really nice um the lighting is a little i like how it's like a pinkishy but i feel like it could have been toned down a little bit more because it, it can be a little distracting but i do see how like you kind of go with a pink and purpley-ish theme but yeah great job this week the next photo comes from ag adventure studios and you said that you're so proud of this photo and i definitely agree with you this photo is so crisp so crisp the lighting is definitely on point really great job on that i love how you have like the logos of like all these different like internet i don't know social media some of them are social media and then there's just like the other ones kind of modern-y <laughs> type things definitely went along well with the theme i love how she's laying on her bed and she's like looking at her phone but then it's almost like she's looking up into the logos too so really great job on that i like how the background is blurred so the pictures on the walls aren't a distraction either and her outfit is really cute too and yeah i really like this photo you did a really great job this week the next photo comes from Doll Studio 9, and I really like this photo. I love her outfit. That is, like, one of my favorite parts of this photo. And the Everblaze book as a Keeper of the Lost Cities fan. I really like it. Um, I like how she's laying on her bed, and she has her phone and stuff. My couple critiques, though, would be that it is a little, not exactly cluttered, but there are a few things that I kind of question, like, why they're in the photo. So I wish that we, you could have thought maybe a little more into that you know like what i do and shouldn't put in the photo it still looks really great though and i love how there's like the little like pockets on the wall so you can put stuff in i just think that's kind of cool i also wish that you could see the doll's head a little bit more because or the, the whole doll in general um because the little pocket thing is kind of covering it up but yeah i kind of wish that this could have been cropped a little more too again not trying to like bombard you with so many critiques but again just a word of advice and 
yeah, but I think the lighting is really great too, and great job this week. The next photo comes from the AG World, and this photo turned out really good. You said that you have been very busy because of moving and all, so I understand if it's gonna be, if it was hard to take, to like make this or like submit other photos. I definitely understand, and yeah, but I think you still did a really great job on this. I like how you, it's kind of like a timeline, th timeline thing, where it's like, I like how it's like, 1884, the olden days, 1904, old fashioned, then 1957, back then, then 2022, modern, and then I like how the fashion has progressed, like, we've come a long way since those 1800s and, like, everything before that, but yeah, um, I like the lighting in all the photos, you did a really great job on all of them, and the 1954 when I wish that it could have been a little bit of a different background, but I understand this is probably an older photo that you were using, and... Yeah, I think you still did a really great job on this, especially for being super, like, last minute. Um, a little thing, though, would I would be that I kind of wish that you could have changed, like, the, like, background thing because it's a little random out of all the other colors, but you still did a great job this week. The next photo comes from AG Craziness, and I really like this photo. I like how you took the time to take two photos, and you have the old photo and the modern photo. I also like how you spelled old, like, in how they used to spell it, or, like, I don't really remember how, honestly, right at this moment, but I really like that detail. I like how that photo is also in black and white, and then the modern one is in color. The modern one is super crisp, and because the other one is just in black and white, you just can't tell the lighting as much, but they both look really good. I really like how the old one, she is sitting on the horse, and she has a really cute outfit on. I'm not sure how much it would match the year that you were trying to do because you didn't say, but it still looks really great, and I like how the um, the modern photo, they're like driving in the car. It almost looks like they're driving in the car of the mountains, but it might not have been the mountains. So that looks really great. I like um, all their hairstyles and stuff, and yeah. The lighting is really great. I think I already said that though. Same with same goes as the quality. Great job this week. The last photo this week comes from Addie's AG Adventures, and I really like this photo. The message that you included with this photo was super great. You said it was because people you said it was because people it's based on how badly people I mean not everyone, like I think pretty good of myself, honestly, but how badly some people think of themselves now and how they need to be more positive. So I really like that, and that was a really great idea because I don't think I would have ever been able to come up with that but I like how she's looking into a mirror and then there's like all the different words like heart be kind vibes creative and like all those great things about her I really like her outfit again I just really like denim stuff it goes well with pretty much anything and yeah the mirror trick is super cool and I think it's cool when people take pictures of themselves in the mirror and it's not too distracting how there's like a little few things in the background because I'm assuming this is taken in a bathroom and also that is um really great too my one or two critiques would be though that the um I think the image that is being reflected is kind of drainy so I wish that you could have fixed that and she does have a few flyaways but I think that is all I really like the message in this photo so you did a great job this week Hi everyone, I'm Creations with AG. Thank you so much to Cora for letting me guest judge this week of OAGPC, and I want to say that everyone's photos were absolutely amazing, so adorable, and I can see that you guys put a lot of work into them. So let's get right on into judging. This first photo comes from Amy, and her doll is holding the computer and has the phone by her, which definitely gives it a nice modern touch, but her outfit and the bed aren't super modern, so I wish they could have been a little bit more just to fit the theme, and maybe for the future her head could have been facing the camera a little bit more, and maybe a little bit better lighting, but lighting is super hard to get, I know that personally, so other than that, great job this week. This next photo is from Potograph AG. I hope I pronounced that right. I'm sorry. And it is gorgeous. I love the phone. It's so modern. In her arm up, the editing was amazing. The pillows are so cute, but the pillows do make her look like she's a doll. It's not as realistic, but it's so adorable. I just love the aesthetic of this photo, and you did an amazing job. This photo here is from Take Action 321, also known as Tangled, and I really like how she put technology Tangled on the screen. It's really cute. I like the angle how it's from above, and she has so many tech pieces on her bed, which is definitely a big modern aspect. Her outfit is pretty modern too, so I really like that. I also love the um, like the purple lighting you put on there. Reminds me of fairy lights. It's super cool. So great job. This next photo here is from AG Adventure Studios. 
And wow, I can't even say anything about this photo. It is just too amazing. Grace looks adorable in that outfit. I love how you put all of the messages and like um, social media platforms and everything on the screen. It's just all proportioned perfectly and it's just so amazing. I don't even know what to say about it. So incredible, incredible job. This photo here is from Doll Studios 9, and I like how she's laying on her bed, but the room is really messy, and her outfit isn't very modern because she's wearing, like, Courtney's skirt, and that's from the 80s. I'm not really sure what those bags are hanging on the wall, and she does have a phone, but she isn't even looking at it, so that's definitely not my favorite aspect of the photo, but I do love the Keeper of the Lost Cities book in the background. I definitely need to DIY one of those. So good job this week. Our next photo comes from the AG world, and she did a bunch of different photos showing progressing up to our modern time. I'm not the biggest fan of this photo, just because it brings back a lot of old ones and the theme was just modern week, but I do love all of the pictures, except the back then one, because you can really tell it's taken by a door. But it is cute and a good idea, I just wish it could have not been used for this week. The photos themselves are really cute. You guys are all talented photographers, but wow. I cannot even say anything about this photo. It is just too amazing. This photo comes from AG Craziness, and it's just too amazing. I love the old one in the modern. I didn't like how the last person did that, but you just kind of did two, so it works a lot better. And it's just so aesthetic, and I love your horse. I actually own that horse, so it's so adorable. I love how there's, like, limited words. It just says old and modern, and it is just so incredible. So amazing 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 job this week this photo here is from addy's ag adventures and i love it so much i her outfit is so modern which i really love but the rest of the photo isn't super modern so i'm not quite sure what you had in mind with writing like the um different words and affirmations and sort of stuff but if it wasn't for modern week this would definitely be in the top three it is so adorable so great job <laughs> So great job to all of you. You all did a really great job this week. Next week's theme is Grateful Week, kind of just your average Thanksgiving theme. Sorry if there's any background noise. My siblings are getting ready for bed, and so we are hearing some interesting noises. But anyway, your photo is due November 26th. I've given you a little extra time because of Thanksgiving and all, but please submit your photo on time. Like, I'm going on a trip, though like a few days after thanksgiving like after the weekend so please submit them soon so i'll be able to get the video out sooner too well that's all this week bye